So in this video I'm going to talk all about triggers in Unity. So by the end of this video I'm going to attach a trigger collider component onto our 3D drag box thing. So this mesh here that's changing and um, play about of how triggers work. But before we do that there's a few things we need to know. Um, I'm going to keep this running so I can explain a few things. So triggers in Unity, well we can attach them with any collider, so component physics and any of these colliders and then we can tick them as a trigger and that's how we can set them up but um, we're going to, in this case we're going to set them up through C Sharp's code. Okay guys, so let's hop over to the script in reference mono behavior. There's three methods we need to know when we're working with triggers. On trigger enter, so on trigger enter is called when the collider enters a trigger object. Okay, so pretty self-explanatory. Self on trigger exit is called when the collider has stopped touching a trigger. So if it's been touching a trigger for previous frames and then it stops touching it, um, on trigger exit is called. So, and the other one's on trigger stay. So after it's entered the object, on trigger stay is called. So once a frame until it stops touching the trigger. Okay guys, so if we hop into on trigger insert, a really important note is that um, the trigger events are only called if one of the colliders has a rigid body attached to it. So it comes down to where do you want to attach the rigid body, to the box mesh or to everything it's going to interact with. So I think the best thing to do would be to attach it to the one object, the box mesh. It's not going to use gravity or anything and take up like processing power, but um, we do need that rigid body to interact with other triggers in the game just a thing Unity does. So other important things about triggers, well raycasts interact with trigger objects or trigger colliders, we might want to ignore our some raycasts in that case, I'm going to do all that in the next few videos. So as you build up your game layer by layer you notice things and one of the things that some of our raycasts are going to interact with some triggers in the game, but we'll deal with that later, important thing to notice. And um, the next thing Ray, um, triggers only work with convex shapes so our collider is going to have a mesh so our mesh is going to be the same shape as this box and that mesh needs to be convex so the good thing to know is that all we need to do is tick a box in our inspector to make the shape convex we just need to tell Unity yep this shape is convex but what the hell does convex mean well if we jump over to you, uh, Wikipedia you can research all of it here it just basically means a curving outward shape or bulging outward shape as opposed to a concave shape. So if we if we hop over to concave, this one kind of um, where is it? Hollowed inwards opposed to convex. So it's not that important to understand what concave and convex shapes are, but in order for triggers to work we need our shape to be convex. And we can just tick a box in the inspector. Okay, so a few other things we need to know. Our trigger object needs to be moving in order to collide with an object. So as you guys might, if you've been following along, our drag box is not moving. It looks like it is because the vertices are changing position, but we are not translating this object in any way or rotating the object or scaling it. So we need to find a way to move the object even though we don't want to, and there's a really easy way to do that. I'll do that in this video as well. So I'm going to set up the trigger in our scene now with C Sharp code. So here I am at the bottom of our create drag box mesh. So we're going to use this mesh as the collider. We've created each of the vertices in 3D space and um, now we can actually set up the collider. I'm going to add a rigid body to begin with. Rigid body equals our drag select mesh add component uh, rigid body. And just to be on the safe side, I don't want my rigid body falling through the scene, so I'm going to say rigid body use gravity equals false. And another thing we need is a mesh collider. Mesh collider. I'm going to call this mesh C for mesh collider. Same thing really. Add component mesh collider. Okay. So the next thing we need to do is um, access its properties. We're going to make it a trigger object because at the moment it will not be a trigger, it's just a collision. So other objects will be able to collide with it in the game. We don't want that. So is trigger equals true. Simple as that. And we need to make it a convex shape. So mesh collider convex equals true. That's really important. If this was false it will not work. So we need this to be convex equals true. 
Okay, and um, the other thing we need to actually assign the mesh to the collider. Let's just explain what I mean here. So we can assign a mesh to any object in the game just by going to components, physics, and then any collider we like. In this case, we're going to go to mesh collider and attach a mesh but in, inside the C sharp code. So instead of attaching this and dragging a mesh onto it in the, the, in the inspector, we're going to add the mesh in our C sharp code. So mesh C, um, shared mesh, and we're going to get it from our filter mesh. So from our mesh filter. Okay, and we define that up here. Mesh, our mesh is filter.mesh. Okay, so this is all we need to do here. If I just um, play the game now, we can see what we've done. Let's rotate so we can see the box. Okay, I'm going to select this object now. And as you can see, we can see the collider. The, uh, the green lines uh, represent the collider. If I turn off convex, so here's our collider we've added. I'm going to turn off convex, boom, the, the collider goes away. So we need this object to be convex. This catches out a lot of people, so we need this to be convex. And the drag select mesh is sitting in the mesh property. Okay, so we need to update this on every frame now. So if we drag the mesh, it's, the collider is not going to update. So we need to go into our update drag box mesh and uh, change the collider. Okay, so that's really easy to do. I'm going to go into the update drag box mesh method, so the one up here, and right at the top, we can say we can get our mesh collider. So mesh collider, mesh C, same line of code, drag select mesh, get component this time, mesh collider. And the really important thing is we need to say mesh collider shared mesh equals null. So we can't just uh, overwrite this value, we need to actually declare it as null, so remove it. And then once we've worked out the new um, mesh position or the vertices position we can just say mesh collider shared mesh equals our mesh alright so let's go and see if this works now let's play the game so let's select the object I'm expecting these green lines to update to the same position this time and there we go so let's zoom in just to prove that it works and that's all good so that solves that problem and the only other problem is um, that this object is not moving and for it to unity to recognize that the collider is actually colliding with something this object needs to move so how do we do that because we don't want this object to move well it's pretty simple really if I just close this off we can translate it a tiny amount and then translate it back to its original position and uh, the user won't notice this so all we need to say is drag select mesh, transform, translate so we can just say 0.1f then 0, 0 and then we can just do it again but in the opposite direction minus 0 0.1 so now every time the box is updating we're going to actually translate it so if it actually collides with another object the trigger will um, recognize this so the collider is uh, looks like it's at exactly the same position but in actual fact it's moving a tiny amount every frame so if we collide with something like our solar panel select mesh object we will recognize it in the scene okay so we've set up the object I'm just gonna make one more script for the next video let's just call this um, drag mesh trigger and I'm gonna open this up and in the next video we're going to be interested in two methods so public void on trigger enter and we can bring in a collider let's call this collider with a lowercase okay and the other thing the other method we need is on trigger stay okay so in the next video we'll be dealing with this and the reason I made this now is because I want to attach this script onto the drag box mesh so let's open this up and right at the bottom when we're going to add components we can say drag select mesh add components drag mesh trigger okay so we just added the trigger script cool so now we've made another C sharp script we can access the trigger events inside the mesh so every time it collides with a certain object we can then 
control what happens using these two methods. Alright guys, that's it for this video. In the next video we'll do that and um, actually use the drag box mesh to select units in the game. So thanks for watching, hopefully I'll see you in the next video.